Hello everyone, that's me Mohammed. I'm back again making another video and this time it's going to be an update for my SD card tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to use SD card on the STM3204 discovery board using SDIO mode uh, because SD card can be used in two modes, SDIO and SPI. We're only going to use SDIO at this tutorial. And in my demo today, I'm going to show you how to read and write data to the SD card. So without any delay, let's start our demo by setting up a project in Cubemix. And on Cubemix, click on your project and select the right board, Steam 30407 VGT. And on the pinout, the first thing we need to do is to scroll down till we find SDIO. Here it is. And we need to enable uh, the SD card mode. Uh, I'm going to use SD 1 bit mode. I tried to use 4 bit mode for ages, but I didn't have any success with that, so I'm just going to go with the 1 bit mode. And this enabled 3 pins for us uh, clock command and d0 you can find you can see this on the pinout of the sd card module so command clock and data zero and we also need to enable the fatfs middleware so scroll up uh, fatfs and enable sd card i'm also going to enable a couple of leds because i'm going to use them in my demo so a green led and the orange one will be enough and that's it for the pinout and now let's go to the configuration window uh, and I think I'm going to leave everything to default. There's nothing to change in here. So I click on this icon to generate a source code. Uh, give a project a name. I'm going to call it SDIO video. I'm going to store it at this location and select the right IDE. Mine is Carl Microvision V5. Uh, and one more thing, one very important setting is that we need to increase the heap and stack size because the SD middleware is very large and require large stack size and heap size. Click OK. And once the source code is generated, click on Open Project, and this will take you to Carl Microvision. On Carl Microvision, we need to expand SDIO folder and open the main. Uh, and in here, the first thing we've got to do is to uh, mount our SD card. So to connect to our SD card, uh, I'm going to do if it's a function called mount. So if mount, this takes a few parameters, FATFS object. So I need to define an object here. I'm going to call it my fatfs and this will be the first parameter in here as a pointer to that and the second parameter is a uh, t character this is used for defining the SD card path number and this variable is defined globally in the fatfs file uh, it's called SD path. so I'm just going to copy and paste it over and the third parameter is whether you want to connect or disconnect the SD card so I write one to connect to the SD card and if this is equal to if R OK then the SD card is connected successfully and the first thing I would like to do when we connect successfully to the SD card is that I want to toggle an LED I'm going to toggle my green LED and now I want to write a text file to my SD card and I've got to use a if open function first and this function takes few parameters the first one is FIL pointer so I've got to define this in here I'm going to call it my file and I need to pass it as a pointer so need to put the ampersand sign and the second parameter is the path so the name of the file I need to define a new variable for it I'm going to call it character my path and this is equal to the name of the file so I'm going to write write one dot txt this library works better with uppercase letters so make sure you do uppercase and you terminate this with an old character this is quite important too so and we need to pass this as a parameter to the function and the last one is a byte mode so uh, I need to I'm writing a file so if a write or create always perfect now we close this these are all the parameters for this function so if open will create and open a file that we called write one.txt now I'm going to write into this file using a function called if write uh, this function takes few parameters. The first one is the file pointer. Uh, second parameter is the data we want to write to the file. So I'm going to define a new variable, my data. And I want to write just hello world to the file. And terminate it by an old character as well. Oh, you do need this. And I'm going to pass it here. And the third parameter is the size of data. Uh, I can't bother counting them, so I'm just going to use size of function to count the number of characters in my array 
uh, let's do the null character just in case and the last parameter is the uh, it's a byte count I believe so I need to define it here it's an unsigned integer pointer that counts the number of data that has been written and you can compare it to the data that you want to write if there is an error so it's an unsigned integer I'm gonna call it test byte and I pass it as a, th as a third parameter as a pointer of course and that's it for the write function and now we need to close the file after we write to it so a function called if close and this only takes a single parameter the file pointer and that's it uh, and I want to put a small delay and toggle another LED uh, just to indicate that uh, close has been successful I'm gonna put one second delay and I'm gonna toggle the orange LED at the end and now we're ready to compile the code and load it to the board and test with the SD card but before we do this uh, it's highly recommended that you reformat your SD card to FATFS32 so in fact let me show you how to do that so I'm gonna plug in my SD card to my laptop and go to the uh, my PC so just try to click on your SD card and click hit format make sure you select FAT32 and click start so format is complete perfect now let's load let's compile the code and load it to the board and don't forget to connect your SD card back to the SD on board okay compiled successfully without any errors now let's load it to the board and now let's have a look at the board and I'm gonna look at the LEDs and then we're gonna test the SD card on the laptop okay looking very good both of the LEDs toggled on now let's test it on my laptop I'm gonna plug in my SD card here I'm gonna go to my PC and let me open the SD card perfect I can see the file here write1.txt and it has got the it has got the hello world in it perfect and now let me show you how to read a text file from the SD card so let me go to my SD card and create a new text file and write random stuff in it uh, as I said I prefer to call the file uh, an uppercase so I'm gonna call it read1 all in uppercase letters I'm gonna write this is Mohammed, for instance, and let's see if we can read that successfully on the Steam side. Okay, on the Steam side, the first thing we need to change is the path. So the name of the file is not write one; it's read one now. Uh, and the if open function need to be changed instead of if a write and create always. It would have to be if a read and open always. So this will open read one file, uh, and then I need to comment if write function and now use the if read function. And the fread function takes a uh, very similar parameter to a write. So the first one is the file pointer. Then next one is the variable to uh, store the read data in. I'm going to define it globally so that I can read it in uh, debugging mode. I'm going to call it my rd uh, data. And this is Mohammed is 15 bytes, so uh, size 15. And I'm going to pass it as a parameter to the read function. And I'm reading 15 bytes. And finally, the test byte variable. Perfect, that's all we need to do. So let's compile the code and load it to the board again and then go to debugging mode and see if we can uh, read uh, This is Muhammad successfully. I'm going to plug in my SD card back to the STM. I'm going to load it to the board. And now let's get into debugging mode. And on debugging mode, the first thing we've got to do is to include our red data variable to the watch memory. So right click and add to watch one. And now we can see what the data are. Now let's run the code. Perfect, I can see the text I've written in the file. Okay, so I've just shown you how to write data to SD card and how to read data from it. Now one very last thing before I end my tutorial, I also want to show you how to write to a folder on the SD card, not just writing to the main directory. So to do this, the first thing you've got to do is to make a directory. So there's a function called make directory and you simply pass the directory you want to make so or the folder you want to create I'm going to create a new folder that I'm going to call it my folder and you terminate it with an old character and this will create a directory that's called my folder so you copy it and you paste it in front of the uh, file name with another forward slash and I'm going to name the file write to uh, and you've got to replace if a read and the if open to if a right now because we are writing again and if a open always to create always so this will open this and create a new file that we call write to.txt 
and I want to write to it so I've got to uncomment the write function and comment the read function uh, I'm just going to change the uh, content so I'm going to say stm3204 for instance uh, uh, so let's compile the code load it to the board and have a look have a quick look at the LEDs and then check the SD card content okay so I can see the LED is lighted on correctly now let's check the SD card so here's my SD card perfect I can see my folder and the content is right to the txt and it has got steam 32 of 4 and that's all I want to show you today thanks for watching and as always if you found it helpful don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day and I'll see you next time